As soon as I read the article saying that the next Super Smash Bros. game was going to be co-developed by Namco, I just had to make this video. While this isn't the first time Smash Bros. has been worked on with the help of a third-party company, having Namco help Sora, no, not that Sora, this Sora, help develop the game, it would seem like a huge crime to not put in a Namco character. Maybe even two of them. For the record, if anyone is still saying that third-party characters should not be in the Nintendo crossover, you need to realize that that argument has been dead since 2006 when Snake was shown for Brawl. There is nothing wrong with having a few third-party guest characters in Smash, especially if a third-party company is going to co-develop it. So now the real question is, who do you think Namco is going to put in the next Super Smash Bros. game? The rules still remain. For third-party characters to be in a Smash Bros. game, they need to have originated from a video game, and they have to have been on a Nintendo system. And with that, these are the three candidates that I feel are most likely to get in. I'll start with Klonoa, who probably has the lowest chance of the Namco characters I'm listing. He would fit in Smash very well, just based on his look. And he has been on the Wii, and I'm not sure how many he's had, but I know he's been on a GBA game. Either way, if he gets in, that would be pretty cool. Next up, and this is the guy I'm rooting for, Lloyd Irving, the main protagonist of Tales of Symphonia. If you've played Symphonia, then you know that the combat feels very much like Super Smash Bros., so putting him in there shouldn't take any work at all. And Lloyd also has quite a big fan support behind him. Sadly, the next guy probably has the biggest chance of getting in there, and that's Pac-Man. I don't know if he's Namco's mascot, but he is one of the most recognizable characters in video games, period. He has also been in the Mario Kart arcade games, and Mario was the announcer in Pac-Man Versus for the GameCube. I have no idea what moveset they could do for him, but if they can make a moveset for Pit and the Ice Climbers, then he shouldn't be a problem, especially since he's had a couple of platforming games. Pretty short, but that's all I wanted to get to. Before I end this video, I also wanted to bring this other bit of Smash Brothers info up as well. Push Start, yes, the same website I post my reviews and top 10s earlier on, has an article saying that Mashiro Sakurai will work very hard to put in any character that has been in a previous Smash Brothers game into the next one. I'm not sure where the source itself came from, but it was also posted on another website, and I hope that's true. So if you were hoping for Mewtwo, Roy, and even Pichu to come back, well then, I'm sure you want to believe this as much as I do, as that means my three favorite characters from Brawl, Sonic, Wolf, and Lucario, would also return. However, I do want to see some moveset changes for plenty of characters. 